The cold that the beginning of springtime hadn't yet chased away made hunting risky. That day, I'd gone further than usual. And, as always, there was a chance I'd come home empty-handed. Still, though, I'd at last managed to pick up the trail of a deer when fate caught up with me. But I couldn't imagine then how far it was going to lead me. If you like painting so much, Harold, you ought to try. My work is almost over. I'll be on my way again soon. I've only stayed a few days, but I am happy I met you. You sure have a mysterious relationship with the spirits that live in these walls. Here, Arrow. Keep this stone as a souvenir. Thanks. But what is it? It's my mark. My signature. If you see it again someday, you'll know that I've passed that way. Clem had certainly passed this way. The resemblance between the drawing on the stone and the one in front of me couldn't have been a coincidence. full well that I can't. You're much too young still. But don't worry. We'll meet again. Your destiny doesn't come to a halt here. We've got great things to accomplish together. One day, you'll know it's time to set out. But where are you going? I don't know yet. My journey is far from over. But when you're ready, look for the hill with the white grotto. I'll be there. It's not very far when you know the path through the mountain. A path in the mountain? To discover this route, you've got to pay careful attention to the symbols painted on the walls. If you look closely at them, they can help you manage. Nothing is ever drawn haphazardly, not even the most minute details. In the clan, everybody knows that the mountain is dangerous. They're right. Many people lose their way. Goodbye, Arrow. All of a sudden, Clem's words made perfect sense. The entrance to the path through the mountain had to be real close, and thanks to the signs he left, I'd be able to embark on it. There has to be a way to get the best of this bison.
Fresco had just offered the solution to my problem. All that was left for me to do was to make a spear thrower. It was as if the spirits of the wall had delivered a message that would help see me through. These flames should be enough to keep the lioness at a distance. Now I just have to find a way to attach it to my wrist. Perfect! With this, I'll at last be able to get rid of that monster. My first shot with my spear thrower would have been perfect. The stag had to divert the cat. This time, the lioness wasn't about to come rushing back. The idea of returning to the clan barely passed through my mind. Now it was certain I'd found the passage he talked about. And I understood the warnings of my clan. No one but Clem would venture into a place like this. This drawing bears a strange resemblance to my little painted stone. And all these little symbols seem to indicate the path to follow. You'd have to be crazy to go back and get lost in those dark corridors.
The bear is gone, just like in the fresco. Now all I have to do is find a way to get across. was a close call. I was almost stuck on the other side. All these paintings have enormous power. Who knows? Maybe these stags can help me cross. Wow, that was some shaky crossing. Oh, what a joy to find the open air again. And what a superb place. Lost in that gloomy labyrinth, I'd almost forgotten the hunger that was gnawing at my belly. Dinner time, at last. Hello, young man. Hello, my name is Eric. I'm glad to meet you. I haven't met anyone at all for some time. It's true, there aren't a lot of people around here. My name is Tor, and I'm glad to have a little company myself. I'm a carver, and I've been traveling a lot for some time now, in search of good raw materials and to trade. What are you doing around here? I come from the high plateau beyond the mountain. I'm looking for the hill with the white grotto. A painter friend is expecting me there. I don't know that place, but I have seen quite a few paintings around here. You're probably going the right way. I just caught a salmon. Do you want to share it with me? With pleasure. What a great catch. Thank you. It looks delicious. Here's half of it. You look starved. They say you can recognize a good flint napper by the flint he chooses. Is that true? That is true. Knowing how to choose a good piece of flint is the first important step. And in fact, you're going to try your hand at it. But afterwards, you mustn't use the wrong tool. All right, enough idle chatter. Show me what you can do.